And family, while we're at it, let's make a little ask, shall we? Let's send a little life-changing and life-saving message to our presidential candidates since they were not able to personally attend our convention. What do you think about that? Hang on. Let me do the talking, all right? Get your cameras out and let's record. Let's send this baby around the world. My media team, are we ready for this? Let's do something. Here it goes. Good afternoon, President Trump and Vice President Harris. My name is the Reverend Daniel John C. Hafer, the national commander of the largest wartime veterans organization in the world. And I'm here at our 105th National Convention in the great state of New Orleans, Louisiana. Right, delegates? And we just have a little ask for both of you. No particular order. I'll start with you, President Trump. My friend, President Trump. If you truly want to make America great again, don't ever forget to make our veterans great too. For without great veterans, there's no greatness in America. And Vice President Harris, also my friend, I hear you just like my delegates do as well. We hear you talk about joy and democracy on your campaign trail. But you too, don't forget who defended and who continues to defend that democracy. In some cases, giving that ultimate sacrifice for it so that all Americans can enjoy freedom. For I think people forget this, and even some Americans, freedom isn't free. Right, Legionnaires? So with that said, I know both of you have a tremendous campaigning schedule, and I know how hard it can be. I've been there too. And I know yours prevented you from actually gracing us with your presence. How let, however, let's have no conflict in getting together. Actually, we want to be the first called and the first seated at your presidential table, if elected, when you come together and discuss these life-changing and life-saving issues that affect us veterans and families. Yeah. Call me, call us, I'm sure you can get a hold of my number. Amen. For I'll tell you what, I strongly believe that our nearly 2.5 million Legion family members have earned it. Okay, a call to the Reverend would be nice, but more importantly, a promise goes a long way. Yes, family? Thank you for listening, candidates. Thank you.